What up? It's your boy T-Bird in reaction. So today I'm gonna do um a early wrestling Wednesday like videos because on uh, Wednesday I'm gonna be going away for a couple day days on the um business trip as well too. So I'm gonna be do do some videos. So I won't be be able to do videos for Russell Wednesday. Russell Wednesday. So I'm at least wanna get two videos, a couple, so some a few a few to two videos out the way though. More most notably. First one we definitely want to talk about is the new, the new World Heavyweight Championship belt that was announced this past Monday on Monday Night Raw. Now, I'm about to watch this video from Palama Production, but I wanted to give my little two cents in about this, this uh, championship. Uh, expressing my pros and definitely expressing my cons as well too. Let's get to the the positive pros of this thing. Positive pro one, the belt is beautiful. Let's 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 not front. That's a beautiful belt. The, the other pro is we now got a second. We now since the tribal queen is looking to hold the belt hostage, which is going to go into a time. We got another top title, the the title for other people to get opportunity to win. And a hoping, a hopeful part is a hopefully a babyface gets the win, gets the what gets the first one in this title, a crack at it, and doesn't be a Finn Balor incident when they win, but he had to relinquish it because of injury. Cause it's been one, it's been a while since WWE had a top babyface championship. They had a chance for WrestleMania, but they didn't pull it through. We won't get into the comment right there, but. It's been a minute. It is, it is well overdue for Duddy to have a top big face champion right now. And if this would take to do it, I'm all for it, though. Let's let's get it on. Now, the cons of it, though. Main con is something I have said since the beginning of time with the whole thing with Rome. I'm going to call him Roman right now. With Roman Reigns and this Reign of Terry I got go they got going on. Man, with the whole Child Creek thing, holding the titles or anything. I said this plenty of times. They backed themselves in the corner. And now it is proven that this is pretty much them getting stuff, trying to get stuff out the corner. They backed themselves in by pulling all the eggs in the basket for Roman. They, I get he's doing, he's what's making things popping for Rush for WWE right now. But, but the fact you once again put it all on him. You back this up in the corner, and this is what we got right here. Number two, because of y'all doing that, backing stuff up with Roman Reigns, y'all, this, this, why this look at this is a consider a new top title come the draft, which will happen at night champions. This is for, to most people, especially the haters who love to diss anything about it, whose stuff gonna be all, all, uh, all, who the ones who all on the tribal dick of uh, Roman Reigns and all that, tribal queef and all that. This is going to look like a consolation prize, a participation loser comparison, second place belt right now. See, the thing about the ter Rain Terra between the between about the Rain Terra of Triple H, at least there was two titles. He was only Rain Terra with the World Heavier Championship. Oh, I don't know, the World Heavier, the WWE. He was only Rain Terra with that, while they still had a top title for enough for the other company. Um, and this might be really up there with even worse than the Brock Lesnar. Again, Brock Lesnar was held, both held, held the universal title hostage, but, but we had another top title, WWE, but look, but somewhat the WWE was looking like WWE championship was looking second fiddle to the universal champion at the time. So now we are really in the pickle with that, with home. The tribal treat queef holding two titles right now, which probably was I eventually got a feeling gonna combine to one belt now that it will be the undisputed belt and then WWE undisputed belt while the the second be the world heavyweight and goes wherever he wins it to their drafted company or wherever Roman's drafted, he's gonna be a tight title for that brand. And while the other this belt will go to the other brand and come nine champions. But yeah. WD really backed us up in the corner. They also they already giving hate. Folks are already going there, calling this um not liking the belt. Call some of you calling it a copy of AEW. They'll be in jackass, including that jackass quest I told you about from the the one group I somewhat part of, but not like really joining. But anyway, um, but yeah, 
this the, 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 the pro is no top title chance for a top eight face thing, but did what they could have they could have what they but this is them back in court because what they could they had chances on chances to split the title chances or even letting dropping the Roman drop the title but one they want to go to thousand mark and it's the other kind about this this is also hyping up the chance that most hill fiends uh hill fans want out of them and try queen fans want is them to hold the title forever to the WrestleMania which has been mission. I hope that I'm still hoping that don't happen but if that's the case, then we got no choice but to sell for this side right here, which sucks. Because obviously, there's chances are they trying to extend his tower rank to the next WrestleMania. I really want him to lose that SummerSlam to Cody. But if this ends up being the one that Cody has to win to 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 uh win the championship, the part not win Dirty E. Now I guess we got no choice because you know Dirty E gonna do whatever they want though. But let's listen to what Polano. Polano Production had to say about this uh, Electra's belt right here. Let's get it. Triple H made a groundbreaking announcement. He introduced the return of the World Heavyweight Championship with a new design. It looks like the classic gold belt and the IC title if they had a baby. Mm. The promo about Triple H was interesting. He kind of buried Roman Reigns for being a part-timer, stating that his contract doesn't force him to consistently defend the undisputed WWE Championship. Then he realized he messed up when the crowd started to boo heavily, and he tried taking it back and saying that Roman Reigns is actually smart for doing that, and the crowd was not liking it, but it's the truth. Again, like I said, they backed this up in the court, and then... Roman himself made his little agreement with his contract, so there's that. So, like I said, they backed themselves up in the, up in the corner with, with with him right now, and they did they just stepped in some shit with him because just because to keep the title on him, all cause the love for Hill he the the keep the the rain terror the love for another rain terror as well too. Next thing, another thing about the rain terror, I, a lot of folks is love one. They're sad as they just the. I call them. That's it. They part of that misery love country as lords. Misery love company get off the post. Misery pump. They are loving. They are loving this rain Terry. They feel like he deserve it because he got because some when he's bay face he get booed or anything. Me being the him van of bay face one. Do you expect me to feel this way? Fuck no. I don't like the hill version of this man right now. But but this folks say the same says thing about true base. He said he deserved that rain Terry because of the uh, curtain call situation. Him getting punched with curtain call situation. So. That that's the edge lord misery love comfy thinking right there about it. But let's keep going with Polano. But like I said, they backed this up in the corner with this one. Low key. Triple H really just went out there and said the truth. Anyways, I'm not sure how I feel about the title, to be honest with you guys. And I'm not just talking about the design. While I do think the classic gold belt should have returned, that's not really my issue. I feel like that's something you will get used to over time. But the part that feels weird to me is that it feels like Triple H just basically said that Roman Reigns has been unstoppable. So here's a new title for everyone else who couldn't beat him. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Like I said, it's going. It's, it's to looking. It's like some. It's going to look like to the negative folks as a consolation prize, a consolation belt, a second day, a second place belt. Go, because because they don't want to take the title off of him. So right right now. And because of that, it doesn't truly really feel like a World Heavyweight Championship in my eyes. It feels like a new mid-card title exactly. because of that reason. This is exactly how the World Heavyweight Championship felt in the old days. In 2013, mm -hmm. you had CM Punk and John Cena competing for the WWE title, while Dolph Ziggler, Jack Swagger, and Alberto mm -hmm. Del Rio were in the world title picture. It was clear which belt was more important, and that's the vibe I got after this promo. Then again, we'll have to wait and see how WWE does book this championship. That's the only because thing. Wait time, and you see. Know, they could do a good job. Maybe throughout time, it can begin to become more prestigious with big names holding it and big time pay-per-view matches. The real question is who should be the first World Heavyweight Champion? And I now know before I go there, before he said his thing, I I he Cody right now is my last because I want him to be Roman for the title for the unspeed title. He should get that. But if it has to be what it is, give it, then Cody can get it. But if not, if they want, they want to pull the trigger on Cody winning the title at SummerSlam, hopefully at SummerSlam, then my top picks is either Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, and my wild card picks is AJ Styles when we have come for come for injury, Shinsuke Nakamura, hopefully as baby faces, of course. But I can't control the that. But I'm about serious hoping or. 
the uh, super wild card as well too down the line is Montez Ford as a baby face. But other than that, let's see who Blonda think who should be the first to win it. No, it definitely should not be Cody Rhodes. Thank you. Cody cannot lose a big WrestleMania match and then go after the other. Yeah, belt. yeah. It'll look like he's running away from right. a real challenge. Exactly. So he's not even an option. There are realistically three people that I can see winning this belt, and the first one yep. is Seth, Seth Rollins. I think it's better Give to it say Seth Rollins has been out of the world title picture for a long time now, and winning this belt would be the perfect but as a way to face, hopefully. back in that world. As his current, especially as, hopefully as his current Bayface uh, role he got running got going right now as well, too. Title scene. However, I've seen a good amount of fans currently complaining about his new gimmick or his current gimmick. I don't know. What do you guys think of his persona? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, like I said, I like in that I like in now that he's a baby face. I'm liking that he's keeping the persona that I mean. It's kind of like still keeps up entertaining, but he still have that baby face fire in him. Cause um most recently his promo this when his promo when he talked about the belt was fire baby face like promo. I loved it. But let's keep going. Wait, the second option is Finn Balor. Now, only the reason I'm 50 50, 150, because he's a heel right now, and I don't want to fail to be the first one. But he's got only reason I'm a midget okay, a midget somewhat okay with because he's still old, a, a big title run since he had to, since he was the true first universal winner, title winner, but he had to relinquish because of injury. And he never got that, he never got that get back ever. Really huge plans for Finn Balor to become the world champion in 2023 and I thought that was honestly impossible because there's no way the man was going to defeat Roman Reigns for those belts but with the new belt in town I can see that happening I can see that report becoming a reality and the Judgment Day has been doing really well I think WWE wants them to be a dominant group mm. and they can definitely have the entire group hold some gold Rhea's already got a title Finn can win this and Dom and Priest can become tag team champions and if it's not Finn or, or if only if they split title, don't don't Rollins. I think that it should be LA Knight. That is my Ooh, sleeper pick. That's the us. Dude is that's the other. That's a good sleeper pick. You know what I mean? A lot of people is saying also he they he got muscle for money in the bank though. Just again, he's hell right now. But I feel like they need to pull the trigger on a face turn with him because he's too over the crowd. He has to shut the crowd up plenty of times because they cheer for him so much. So. Not let him not waste his time and just go along with the crowd and be a baby face like he was an NXT man because the crowd is trying to slowly get him behind him and you're stopping them by because you want him to keep the hell no make him face soon right push at least by this Friday because the draft coming by this Friday hopefully make him a face at least by this Friday over he's got all the right tools to become a main event player it's a shame that wwe is not capitalizing on it right now exactly he should be winning more matches he should be booked as a top guy he should be on the top and becoming the world heavyweight champion can get him and should be a baby face. out of those three options i named i think la knight would be the most entertaining name i don't think they're gonna pull the trigger because honestly i think he might win money in the bank and then become the second world heavyweight champion however i'd rather see him get to the finish line before that and just winning the belt you know before winning money in the bank and waiting a few months or whatever but anyways those three names should be considered to win the title at night of champions but imagine just imagine wwe says screw it and Roman Reigns wins that title too. That might be that be some that and, and sad and the same folks I told about who saw mom making him a third even memes of him having the third title. They do that shit, man. They they might as well you know get ready to lose a lot of fans because that's that's they gonna, all you gonna have is the very look. The it's probably gonna be still a lot, but they gonna lose fans over that. They better not do that the funniest thing that could possibly happen and it would also show the pure dominance from roman not Reigns. funny it'd also be a terrible idea but it would be exactly the iwc have a meltdown anyways this new title means that roman reigns is going to be the undisputed champion for a longer period of time i'm not even exaggerating but the man could break bruno san martino's record yeah that's that's the, out of the, picture. That's the only WWE thing just open the door for a lot of new possibilities with that title anyways that's that is it for the again video. that's the Again, that's the vi the bad part I see about this. That's that's a that big con right there. They could force him. This could lead to him whole title longer than he needs to be, which is not, which is don't need to be. He should at least drop it at SummerSlam. But I got a feeling they're going. This I give him. I'm getting really scared that they're going to push it to the next WrestleMania, especially now with this title is might be 
it might be inevitable right now. They're going to push it to the next SummerSlam. I mean, that's the next, the next WrestleMania. This least pushes the SummerSlam. Let me get that thousand because obviously that's why I haven't win at the previous uh, SummerSlam. But have them, but in the previous WrestleMania, sorry. But have them loot, drop it at SummerSlam, please, man. But please have them drop at SummerSlam to call you, man. Don't, don't make us wait this damn long. All right, if if that's the case, man, then I would have to. We I don't care. I'm not gonna care about if they even not let drop have him drop my something. I'm not gonna care about understanding the title no more. We go out. This then we have no choice but to care about the head, new heavyweight because that's going to probably be the only interesting top title right now. If it, if it is going to be either considered a top title at this point right now. But other than that, if you like my reaction and my thoughts and reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.